Today, I'm going to show you how to be able to change the content that you are providing into generative answers in Power Virtual Agents, leveraging PowerFX. So in order to be able to shift your content based upon different criteria inside of Power Virtual Agents, you can do this by using PowerFX as a formula to be able to do this. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this today, and this is going to build off of the video where I was showing you how to use Bing Custom Search. So we'll start in Bing Custom Search first. And with Bing Custom Search, you'll see here, just like I said before, I'm going to use a scenario with uh, MGM Resorts just because of the fact that we're going to be there for the Power Platform Conference, and this is an easy way to demo for you guys. So if you notice, like there's two different properties inside of this. I have uh, built a uh, instance of Bing custom search for the Luxor and one for the MGM brand. And if you'll notice here, all I've done is added in the amenities and the pools for the Luxor and you'll see the URLs here. And if I switch, you'll see the same thing for the MGM grand. Um, and so this way I'm limiting it to just those pages on the Bing custom search. If you want more information on this, you can look in um, my YouTube channel and see how to be able to handle Bing uh, custom search in more details. So with this, be aware that when you are building uh, with like MGM Grand here, you can see you have to get this custom configuration ID. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back over to Power Virtual Agents. Okay, now that we're in Power Virtual Agents, there's a couple of key things that you're gonna need. Number one is um, I need a way to be able to have a variable for me to be able to shift between the MGM and the Luxor so that the bot understands which one uh, I'm, I'm trying to get the configuration of. Now, you could do this with a, a query using Power Automate or things like this if you've got uh, an authenticated bot or you want to look someone's user record up. In this case, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Topics I'll go into the system topic here. And what I'm going to do is on the conversation start. So when the conversation starts, I'm going to say, hello, uh, it's nice to talk to you. And then I'm going to ask uh, for an option of which property you're interested in. Now, one of the things that I've done here is I've made it where I've actually created um, a property entity and I've given it the values of MGN, Grand, or Luxor. So that's how you're seeing here that I can say to display these as so that you can just click them. Now, if someone actually responded back that says, I want to talk about the Luxor, uh, it will you know, pick up Luxor and it will only return the value of Luxor. Uh, and so now that we've done that, I'm also need to create a table. So I need to have a way to look this up. now. A lot of people will think, well, you could go do this in an Excel spreadsheet or something or go run a Power Automate query. But if you want it to really be super fast and perform, the easiest way to do this is to set a variable. And notice that I set a variable that is a global dot property dot underscore KB. And with that variable, what I've done is I've created a table. And in this table, I've basically returned a value for hotel and the search ID that is equivalent for that. So that's the Bing custom search ID. So you've basically got this table that's in memory that you can go and query against. And because I turned this into a global variable, it's always going to be available. So if I wanted to do it as a topic variable, I could, um, but in the case of this, I want it to persist so that I can write formulas against this and look up against it throughout my bot. So once I've done this and I've set these variables and know that this will be super fast with the way that I'm doing it because I'm not having to go pull data from some backend system, I'm just setting this as context. And every single time the conversation starts, I get this. Now, I will also add in here that when you're thinking about your variables here, um, you should take a look and make these decisions as well. Not only do you want it to be any topic can get to it, if you're going to set this from a downstream system, you need to be aware of that. And you also need to decide whether or not you want to carry it between sessions. So if the conversation times out and I reconnect in, do you want that to persist for this particular user? In this case, I'm thinking I don't want those things, so I'm not doing it. 
Now, now that I've got this set up where I've got my table of data in, and I've, I've asked the question that I need and stored that into a global variable called global selected property, that allows me to be able to go into my conversational boosting topic. Now, inside of this, I've got it configured that I have some data sources here. And notice that I said search with Bing custom search. And you can see that here if you don't know where that's set. So I'm going to go back to the data source here. And now I have a lookup. And let's take a look at what we've done. So in this, you basically are just going to say a, you're going to use the lookup command. You're then going to say that you want the global property uh, underscore KB is basically what we're going to be looking up against. So that's the table location. And then what I'm looking for is where hotel is equal to the global dot selected property. And I want to return the search ID for that. So by doing this, what we're doing is we're taking that table that we've got in memory and we're just looking up that table's information where the hotel is equal to what we've already selected when the user answered the question. And then that will set the search ID for it for this particular um, field. So what's nice about this is if someone, if you wanted to go back and change the property, or if you thought about maybe you wanted to do this off of um, a system variable, such as what is the default language, what language are you looking for, and then shift the bot uh, source based upon the language that you're wanting to do. So this is a very useful pattern for people to be able to do. And now, whenever I answer this question and I say the Luxor, what's going to happen is it's going to say, well, what can I help you with today? And I can say, what are the pool hours? And it's going to answer this question, but it's going to go and pull this in. So we're doing generative answers off of the website. And you can see here, it's telling me that this is, here's where I can find it on the Luxor. Now you may ask me, okay, well, Dwayne, why is this not returning back an actual answer? And the answer to that is if I actually go to the Luxor's page, you would see that it doesn't really have this information prominently on the page. Um, whereas if I go in and I shift to, um, to the MGM Grand and I ask the same question, what are the pool hours? You're going to see that it's going to be more verbose. And this goes back to content is king, right? Like if the content is not prominent on the page, then it's going to be difficult for it to get the answer to it. Um, and you can play with your filtering and, and things of that nature to see if you can make it better. But you'll notice the key concept here is that when I changed to the MGM Grand, now you're seeing it answer that same question with the MGM grant uh, content. And that is dynamically shifting the uh, Bing custom search instance based upon the variable that we set. So this is super valuable and super powerful for people uh, to be able to do this. So go and try this out yourself. Again, please like and subscribe to the channel. If there's anything uh, else that you guys come up with, please put it into the comments. We'd love to you know, understand what you guys are thinking about. And thanks again. And as always, you can go and try PVA at aka.ms slash try PVA. Have a great day.